We were ushered into the matron's room, it was a front, front room, and it all looked very homey, and it obviously fooled my parents because they thought that I was in uh, a safe place. Out the back was very basic, and I just, I just knew that this was a horror story. I was put in a room and given drops to bring baby on. And I was there by myself for a couple of days until um, labour started in the birth of my child. She was right beside me. And I said, please, to the nurse, matron had gone, matron had delivered her. And um, there was a nurse there. I said, please don't take her away. And she said to me, I'll leave her, there. I'll leave her here for a few minutes, but don't tell matron. And I went to sleep. When I woke, she was gone. And I tried and tried and tried to ring and get her back, get her back. Um, but it was over. Every day, I, it's, it's disbelief that this happened. Adoption is not rescue. She was taken from me. She was abducted. As part of the settlement from the Anglican Church, there was a, an apology was offered. My daughter made the decision that she would like that apology. It's her story. As she says, adoption was done to her, not for her. And she lost out on her Papa, her whanau. And so we arranged for the Bishop of Auckland and the CEO of the Anglican Trust for Women and Children to come to Gisborne. I don't, I need to process what happened today. It was very long and full. And um, after all the years of being invalidated, I find it hard to uh, accept an apology, but it was done, I believe, and hope in good faith. As I say, it was a crime then. It's never been recognised. Nothing's been done about it. We were forgotten. And I'm still alive, so what was done there is as relevant as if it was done yesterday to me. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.